Welcome back everybody, Jeff here from Bygone. Again, going over this gorgeous 78 Camaro LT Survivor with just 63,000 original miles. Wanted to take a moment and just sh highlight uh, some of the features here under the hood. Car has had some normal maintenance items replaced uh, over the years. Um, hoses and belts have been replaced. This upper radiator hose is uh, stamped correctly but is a reproduction. The air intake tube um, is also a reproduction. And the battery topper, that is not an original Delco Freedom battery. Um, I can't imagine any of those are still working after 40 years, but uh, that is a correct a uh, battery topper that's uh, velcroed to the top of an aftermarket battery, so that'll stay put, um, but gives the engine compartment a really nice original appearance. You can see as I zoom out a little bit, uh, you know you know from the other photos and videos that this car was uh, rust-proofed uh, shortly after its purchase, so you do see some of that rust-proofing material up onto the inner fender wells and, and things of that sort. But this engine compartment shows so nicely. It's a car that hasn't been messed with over the years. All of the smog equipment is still in place. Um, all the original uh, canisters are still here for uh, washer fluid, uh, the radiator overflow. Uh, even the original alternator is still in place. I love seeing those stampings. That LH there is pretty cool. And as you look around, there's just so many of those original uh, AC parts in place. We have some of the uh, air conditioning components too with the ribbed hoses and, and things of that sort. Did want to take a moment to mention again that the original owner said that the air conditioning stopped working a few years back. This car has been, has been used uh, semi-regularly over the years. I don't have any R12 and I just chose to, to go ahead and sell the car as it sits. I don't know if someone's going to want to uh, go ahead and evacuate the system and you know go uh, go with the you know 134 refrigerant or if they're going to want to uh, stick with R12. But uh, again, the uh, the compressor spins freely, but. You know, I didn't add a belt or, or anything like that. I thought rather than run the system while it was low, um, I would I would just leave that and, and leave it up to the next owner. Um, that's about it. Uh, you know, we're going to do another video outlining maintenance records and history and things of that sort. Uh, but the car has received regular maintenance over the years. I hesitated to go through and, you know, do another uh, tune-up, for example, because plugs and wires on the car, um, you know, are mileage-wise are fairly new, and the car runs well. So I, I sort of, you know, just used my discretion on what I, what I did and didn't do um, and, and left a lot, of, a lot of those components in place. A lot of folks like to see a close-up of the decals here just showing it as a 305 car with the CW uh, stamping. As always, if anyone has any questions, if there's something that you feel like I'm missing or, or didn't discuss, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, again, the purpose is showing all the videos as well as the photographs is to give a buyer two different reference points to, to look at. Sometimes you see things in videos that you don't see in photos and, and vice versa. Uh, but this car is so, so untouched. All the original uh, underhood insulation is in place. I see here that the uh, engine, the... Uh, the underhood light is not operating. I did not even check that, and I just noticed it now. So I'll, I'll sell it as, as it sits, but plan to replace that bulb. Um, as we scrolled earlier, too, all of the original 
uh, screening for the cowl is still in place. Everything looks so nice on this car. Thank you again. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, as always, like I said earlier, if you have any questions, just uh, shoot a message here through, uh, through YouTube, through eBay, or you can give me a call on the uh, phone number in the ad. Take care. Bye-bye.